and welcome to Asia Business Report. I'm Sharon Jeet Lail. Now, Britain's Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson is in Japan today. He's there for talks that are likely to be dominated by concerns about Britain's departure from the European Union. Now, there was no sign of those worries when Mr. Johnson visited this uh, robotic center in Tokyo. He's been uh, talking up uh, the strong economic ties between the two countries, noting that uh, Japanese companies have invested more than 50 billion in Britain. Uh, Japan's political and business leaders are reported to be increasingly concerned about the state of the Brexit negotiations. And although Mr. Johnson is not directly involved in those negotiations, it'll be important for him to reassure Japan's leaders. And Marcel Tellyant from Capital Economics told me what the Japanese firms will be expecting from these talks. Well, and that was Marcel Tellyant there speaking to me earlier. And the European Union's chief Brexit negotiator has called on Britain to clarify its position on uh, topics including citizens' rights and a financial settlement. It came at the end of the second round of negotiations in Brussels on Britain's departure from the EU. Now, oil giant ExxonMobil has been fined $2 million by U.S. authorities for violating sanctions against Russia, while Secretary of State Rex Tillerson was its chief executive. Uh, Exxon dealt with the uh, president of the uh, Russian oil giant Rosneft when he was blacklisted by the U.S. Now, Microsoft has beaten market expectations with a jump in revenue in three months to June, and that saw its shares rise by 1.5% in after-hours trade. But it wasn't all good news. Microsoft is laying off thousands of workers from its global sales team in a bid to boost its cloud division. Samira Hussein has more on the changes at Microsoft. Samira Hussein there in New York. Now, Superman, Star Wars, Harry Potter, well, these are just some of the uh, multi-billion dollar superhero science fiction and fantasy franchises loved the world over. And for fans and franchises, nothing is bigger on the calendar than Comic Con. Now, in its 47th year, the event uh, contributes a whopping $150 million each year to the host city, San Diego. Now, Rob uh, Southwitz is the author of Comic Con and the Business of Pop Culture. He is speaking on six panels today at uh, Comic Con. He told me the event just keeps getting bigger. Yes. Rob Southwitz there. Let's take a look at Sweden's Volvo. It's setting up a China-based uh, joint venture to share their technology on electric cars uh, uh, with uh, firms owned by its parent company, Geely. The collaboration is set to further the automaker's transformation into an all-electric brand as well as Geely's global, global ambitions. And uh, that's it for this edition of Asia Business Report. I'm Sharon Jit Lail in Singapore. Thanks for watching.